Okay, good evening, students. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. How are you today? Good. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. What about you, Eduardo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Okay, <clears throat> okay, time is, uh, you know, it's time to start today's class. Mientras agreganos de más chicos, vamos a empezar las clases, ¿les parece? Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, I do not understand eh, exercise. Uno, uno, diez. Basically, uh, in exercise 1.10, what you're going to do is uh, to organize the sentences. Vamos a ordenar las oraciones que están desordenadas. Pero ahí este, vamos a esperar unas clases más, porque no hemos llegado hasta ahí, para eh, poder desarrollar eso. Más sin embargo, congratulations, porque se nos ha adelantado. Eso está muy bueno. Eh, you can uh, continue learning as many times as you can. Pueden seguir eh, estudiando tantas veces como ustedes sea necesario. Así que, este, no sé, Saúl, si le parece, y lo vamos a seguir viendo en otra clase, para, ¿no? eh, porque sí vamos un poquito atrasadito. Porque ese sí estaría, eh, básicamente, basically, uh, that class is, como el jueves más o menos estaríamos en esa clase. No problem. Okay, very good. Uh, no problem. Okay, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's start with today's class. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm glad to see you today. Uh, we're going to start with today's class. And we have, uh, let me see. We got a slide presentation, right? Eh, okay. Tenemos una diapositiva, así que vamos a compartir. Okay. Uh, you can see it? ¿Pueden verla? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, we are going to continue with module two. <laughs> the topic for today's class will be Simple present statement, right? Simple present statement. Ese va a ser nuestro tema de ahora. What does it mean? ¿Saben el significado de esto? Simple present statement. Verbos regulares y... Ok, very good. Present simple present. Eh, ahí no sé cómo es la, 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 el orden. Presente. Statement, statements son oraciones. Ajá, correcto. Oraciones en presente simple. Ok, very nice. Eh, basically, what we're going to see today is simple present. Vamos a ver básicamente el presente simple. ¿Sí? Eh, but before to start with today's class, we get at this. Vamos a iniciar. 
uh, with this activity, right? Please, you have to tell to the class, name, how do you get to work, and what is your favorite transportation? Vamos a iniciar la clase, tiene que decir su nombre, rapidito. Uh, how do you get to work? What does it mean this? ¿Qué transporte usas para ir al trabajo? O cómo te vas al trabajo. Ok, and this one is, what's your favorite transportation? ¿Cuál es tu transporte ¿Cuál? favorito? Ok, muy bien. Eh, I'm going to start first, right? Voy a comenzar, ¿les parece? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Ok, students, hi, my name is Edwin. Eh, ok, I drive to my work and my favorite transportation is bicycle. Ok, nice. Ok, students, now your turn. Mau. Hello, my friends, teacher. My name is Eduardo. Uh, I'm working to my work because oh. my work is in my house. Ah, okay. <laughs> homework. Nice. Hum, it's homework. Okay. Uh, and my favorite transportation is a car. Very nice. Good job. Thanks, Eduardo. Good evening, everyone. Okay, good evening. <clears throat> Good evening. Okay. My, my name is Saba. Okay. Uh, I drive uh, to my work. Okay. And my favorite transportation is a car. Okay, really nice. Good job. Thanks. Okay, somebody else, students? Hello. Hello. My name is Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn. I want to I want to my work. Okay. And what is your favorite transportation is a car. A car, really nice. Thanks, Jocelyn. Veo que les encanta mucho los carros, right? <laughs> That's good. Okay, let me say somebody else. Alguien más? Okay. Uh, me teacher. Okay, right. Uh, my name is Saul Sanchez. Okay. I I get to work in motorcycle. Okay, very good. Is my favorite transportation is in motorcycle. Okay, very nice. Okay. Thanks. Okay, is it in somebody else? Hi, my name is Saul Ardon. Uh, working uh, it's a car. Uh, what's your favorite transportation is uh, a car. A car, really nice, good job. Okay, um, you drive to your work, right? And your favorite transportation, a car. Really good, Saul Ardon. Okay. And somebody else, students? Maggie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is my name is Maggie. And I know a work. Uh, my favorite transportation is a bus. Ah, okay, very good. You take a bus. Really nice. Thanks, Maggie. Good job. Okay, somebody else is doing one more. Your teacher. Okay, go ahead, Danilo. Yes, my name is Danilo Alvarez. I get to work riding a motorcycle and uh, my favorite transportation is a uh, motorcycle. Okay, very nice, good job. Thanks, Danilo, good pronunciation. I really like it. I don't know if we get somebody else, Sara? You raise your hand. Good night. Good night. My name is Sara. Okay. And I want to I want to work. Okay. And I take the bus some days. My favorite transportation is the car. Okay, very good. Thanks, Sara. Good pronunciation. I like it. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Mary Murillos. Okay. Um, I get to work in my car. Uh, my favorite transportation car. Okay. Me llamo Chico. Vamos, somebody else. Veamos. ¿Alguien más? Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, we are going to continue with the class because of the time. Vamos a continuar. Can you hear me? Okay, good evening. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes. 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 Okay, let's continue with the day class. We got the topic, simple present statements, regular verbs. Uh, as the topic says, we're gonna, uh, we are going to be able to make a simple present statement. Vamos a ser capaces de hacer oraciones en presente simple. Vamos a ver qué es presente simple. Okay, let's see. Before to start with today's class, we have lesson objectives. Maggie, can you see the objectives? <laughs> by, the, by the end of this class, you will be able to make a simple present statement using a regular verb. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thanks. Ok, nice. Good job. Entonces, al finalizar la clase, seremos capaces de... De, de, de hacer, hacer oraciones en simple... Eh, regular. Simple. Ok, muy bien. Utilizando verbos regulares. Muy bien. Ya vamos a ver qué son es presente simple y verbos regulares. Good job. Really good job, students. Uh, did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about useful sentence? What is useful? What is useful? ¿Quién se recuerda que es useful? Útil. Útil. Very good job. Okay, útil. Useful sentences, right? Okay. Uh, and we got some useful expressions. Teníamos unas expresiones útiles, así que uh, now I bring it to you into Spanish. Se las traje en español para que ustedes me digan en inglés, ¿no? Ahora ustedes me van a enseñar a mí. Ok, veamos. What does it mean this one? Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo pueden decir eso? Uh, I have a question. Ok, very good job, Eduardo. Veamos, eh, let's continue with the teacher. No entiendo. I do not understand, teacher. Ok, okay very good. And the last one. And everything, everything is clear. It's clear. Ok, everything is clear. Veo que si ya las manejamos un poco mejor. Así que uh, this expression, you can use it during this class, right? Estas expresiones las pueden utilizar dentro de esta clase. Muy bien. Eh, we got a simple present. Simple present. Tenemos el presente simple. Before to uh, continue with simple present, I want to know the personal pronoun. Necesito que si sí, realmente manejamos los, no, los pronombres personales. ¿Sí? ¿Los manejan? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes okay. teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is, voy a ir seleccionando acá y ustedes me dicen el Spanish, right? What is this? I. I. I, very good. In Spanish? Yo. Yo. Very good. Para los que no se lo saben, please take note. Tomen nota ahí en su eh, dispositivo o en su cuadernito. Muy bien. What about this one? You. No. You. 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 Very nice. Two. Eh, ok. If you know it, we get two you. Tenemos dos you. Somebody knows the difference between this you. This one and you, plural and singular. Very good. This one is singular, right? And this one is plural. Plural. Uno solo dice tú y el otro ustedes, que estamos hablando simultáneamente. 
¿sí? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, you are a really nice student. ¿Sí? Okay, thanks. Okay. All of you, you are a really nice student. Uh, we are using this you in plural way. Okay, very good. He, he, he and, 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 and nice. She, she, yeah. Very good. It, it, it's 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 okay, very good. Uh, this is a little bit complicated uh, because it's neutral, right? Uh, you can use it for animal or for things. Mm -hmm. Puedes usarlo para animal o alguna cosa, ¿sí? Que siempre que estemos hablando en plural o singular. Ok. Uh, vamos a utilizar it con singular o plural. Plural. Mm -hmm. Plural o singular. Plural. Free. Uh, ok, uh -huh. Are you sure, Eduardo? Que sí, lo vamos a usar en, para uno o para varias cosas o animales. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué dicen ustedes? Sí. Ok, este it es exclusivo en singular. singular. Por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de dog, vamos ah. a decir, instead of dog, it. Yeah, very good. Y tenemos varios perritos. If we have a lot of dogs, uh, we're going to use they. Oh. Right? Teacher, okay. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, it is singular, but in plural, y agregamos mm -hmm. S, ¿verdad? Sin el apóstrofe. ¿O cómo es? <laughs> okay, really nice question. Okay, it is in singular. Uh, <clears throat> for example, uh, ah, let me see. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Y yo estoy viendo un cachorrito. Entonces estoy diciendo que quién es bonito. El perrito. El perrito. Only one, right? Only one. But if I see a lot of uh, dogs, si yo veo muchos chuchitos, eh, voy a utilizar they, aunque parezca raro. Uh -huh. pero, uh, yeah. They are beautiful, like this. ¿Por qué? Porque este, aunque es para personas, también es para animals or several things, right? Right. Okay. It's clear? Yes. I have a question, yes. teacher. Yes. Yeah, please tell me. Teacher. Yeah. Go ahead. Hola. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, tell me the questions. Dígame la, la consulta que tiene. <laughs> o sea que este it solo lo ocupamos para una, una cosa singular. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Perfecto. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, entonces, it's neutral, right? Things or animals, para una cosa o animal. Okay, then we have we. What is we? Nosotros. 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 When we include it, right? Cuando nos incluimos. Uh, for example, we are a team. Nosotros somos un... Team. Un equipo. Okay. Equipo, equipo, grupo. Yeah, sure. The best thing. <laughs> okay, very good. And then we have you. You. Ustedes. 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 We have they. Ellos. Ellos. Animal, things, or person, right? Yes. Personas, cosas, o animales en algunos casos. Ojo con esto. Uh, I want to show you something really important, right? When we are talking about animals, cuando estamos hablando de animales, si nosotros, if we uh, really feel something for that animal or for a specific animal, si sentimos algo así como eh, que el animal es parte de nuestra familia, that the animal is a part of our family, nosotros podemos utilizar he or she, 
si, si ese animal es varón o hembra. Right? Yeah. right. Solo si nosotros lo consideramos parte de la familia. Only in that way. Right? For example, if I have a, a little dog, si tengo un chuchito y es hembra, y yo lo amo mucho, lo vi crecer, and I take care of it, y lo cuidé durante mucho tiempo. Okay, I'm going to talk eh, with this personal pronoun, she. Uh, she's beautiful for me, right? Right. Okay, right. taking into account, tómenlo en cuenta. Okay, very good. Now you know already the personal pronouns. Ya se saben los pronombres personales, eso está muy genial. Eh, tenemos this verb, what is read? Read. What does it mean? Leer. Leer. Somebody know why we add S at the end with these three uh, personal pronouns? Lo usan únicamente para el he, she, it. Okay, very good. Why? Why we use it with only with these three person? Because it's a singular, only for, uh, for example, él, ella, o eso. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Using the third person singular. Very nice. Because it's a third person. Third person. Yes. Because it's a third person. Nice answer. Porque es tercera persona. Quiero que todos me entiendan esto. Las third person nos va a dar un poquito ahí de dolor de cabeza. ¿Por qué? Es, tienen que aprendérselo. He, she, and it. Mm. Estos tres. ¿Por qué? With this three, we are going to modify the verb and we're going to add S. Right? right. And in some cases, right. we're going to add ES. ES. Que lo vamos a ver más adelante. Eh, ok, read. It means leer, right? Ok. Right. Eh, and with third person, we're going to add S. Eso está claro. Muy bien. Eh, this is affirmative uh, sentences. Esta es una oración afirmativa en presente simple. ¿Por qué simple? Es simple like uh, the word. Es simple como la palabra lo dice. I read. Yo leo. Y ahí se queda. Si ustedes gustan, you add a complement. Agregamos un complemento. Por ejemplo, ¿qué les gusta leer? The, the Bible. Ok, I read the Bible. Ok, really good. In my case, I read the Bible at 5 a.m. Entonces, ese es una, eh, un complemento que nosotros hacemos. Pero es, yo leo la Biblia a las 5 de la mañana. No estoy diciendo en qué tiempo. Mm -hmm. No digo en qué tiempo. Es un simple statement, por eso es simple. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, this is affirmative. Entonces, uh, now we are going to pass to negative way. Vamos a pasar a la forma negativa. Para decir una oración simple, eh, solo agregamos do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Pero si ustedes ven las terceras personas, ¿qué pasa? Se le agrega la S. Das. Se le agrega la S. S. Eh, we mentioned that sometimes we add S. Algunas veces agregamos la S. And sometimes we add ES. Y algunas veces. Muy bien. <ríe> ok, let's go. Eh, ok, chicos, necesito que completamos este. Eh, Aquí estoy. Y vamos a ponerlo en una forma negativa. Only we're going to add don't or do not. Luego vamos a agregar don't or do not. Ok. Contraction. Ok, students. As we see... Eh, do not is the best way to say this. Así, sin contractar, es la mejor forma de decir algo. Pero, 
cuando nosotros hablamos, eh, la contracción va a fluir ella sola. ¿sí? Por ejemplo, eh, en mi caso, I don't read. I don't read. Yo no leo. Entonces, cuando digo esto rápido, I don't read. Se une. Y pasa eso que se llama contraction. Contraction. Yeah. Entonces, ahorita, eh, si ustedes notan, solo la tercera persona vamos a agregar das, not. Que contractado sería doesn't. Doesn't. Yes. Doesn't. doesn't. Muy bien. Entonces, aquí, don't. Doesn't. Y acá, doesn't. 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 Permitido decirlo como a ustedes les sea más fácil. Do not or don't. Does not. Doesn't. Ok. Eh, I'm gonna tell you a uh, sentences. <coughs> ok, students, I'm gonna tell you some sentences in Spanish. Voy a decir unas oraciones en español y ustedes me la traducen en inglés con el verbo leer, que es read. Eh, okay. Vamos a escoger tres personas, así que I hope to be ready. Think right now. Ok. <laughs> That's good. Let's see. Ok. Um, yeah, let me see. Yo leo la Biblia todos los días. Veamos ahí eh, voluntariamente. Ok, Eduardo. Eduardo, please activate your microphone, please. I, I read the Bible every day. Okay, very good. Thanks, Iris. Okay, nice. Okay, good job. okay ahora eh, veamos. Yo no leo la Biblia todos los días. Okay. I don't, I don't read the Bible every day. Ok, muy bien. Ahora vamos a subir de nivel. <ríe> vamos a ver. Eh, ready. Uh, ella lee el periódico. She reads the newspaper. Ah, ok, muy bien. Ahora en la forma negativa. Eh, Veamos. Ok. She the newspaper. She doesn't read the newspaper. Yeah, she doesn't read newspaper. Really good. Nice. Okay, the last one for Saba Atalia. That's your name, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's my name. <laughs> the last one, okay, let me see. Ah, I read. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, veamos, ella lee. Su cuaderno eh, todos los días. He re, re, read her yeah. book every day. Notebooks. <laughs> not not yes. It's notebook, yes. He not Creo que manejamos bien esta información. Así que, ok, chicos, congratulations. Eh, unfortunately, time is short. Desafortunadamente, el tiempo es un poco corto para nosotros, but lo vamos a aprovechar de la mejor manera. Ok, continue. Let me see. Ok, we got it this. Eh, vamos a profundizar un poco en how to say the negative way, cómo decir la forma negativa en el Input present, we got don't and doesn't, right? Okay, this is a contraction form. Esta es la forma contractada. Don't and doesn't. Díganlo, don't. 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 Doesn't. Don't. Doesn't. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, Maggie, don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, when we are going to use doesn't? 
¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar doesn't? When it's a negative statement. Ok, very good. La tercera persona. 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 Really good. Yeah. Vamos bien. Ok, eh, veo que manejamos esta information, así que vamos a ir un poco más rápido acá. Dice, we use don't or doesn't to make a negative sentence in the simple present. Ok, si ustedes ven el presente simple, tienen que manejarlo muy bien para comenzar a hablar. Es decir, ustedes expresan sus ideas sin determinar un tiempo en específico. ¿sí? I read the Bible, I teach English, eh, I eat every day, I drink water. Water, right? No, otra cosa. <laughs> ok, let's go. Uh, water. Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> Tic tac. Yeah, ok. Ok, as you see, uh, we divide all the time the third person. Se divide siempre la tercera persona. ¿Por qué? Por estas eh, especificaciones que hay que manejarlas de memoria. Why? Si nosotros decimos, she don't go, ella no no va. No va. Ella no va. Ella no va. It's incorrect. It is incorrect, right? Probably the people are going to understand what they're going to say. Probablemente nos van a entender que queremos decir, pero it's incorrect to say she don't. We have to say she doesn't go. Ella no va donde sea. Ok, tenemos go, que es ir. Want, what does it mean want? Querer. 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 What about like? Gustar. Como o estar. Como, como preposición. Y acá en este caso es like, el verbo. Yes, gustar. Me gusta. Eh, ese es muy famoso ahí en Facebook, ¿verdad? Right? right, yes. <laughs> yeah, like. Ok, let's get. Entonces acá, por ejemplo, me gusta eh, enseñar inglés. Enseñar se dice teach. Ok, I like to teach English. Right? Like teach. Y a mí no me gusta, como aquí estoy hablando, no soy tercera persona ni uno de estos. Yo voy a decir, I, I don't like. I don't like to teach English. Lo que sea, no puedo decir eso porque es significado. <risa> <risa> eh, in this case, this is a third person. Esta es la tercera persona. He, she, and it. Veo que no tienen problemas. Así que eh, we're going to pass a little bit quickly, right? Vamos a ir pasando más rápido. Dice acá, these are affirmative sentences. ¿Alguien me quiere dar a leerla? You speak English. English. Okay. You don't speak English. He speaks English. You don't speak English. Okay. I have a question. Uh, in negative form. Eh, yes. the, the bear in the S. Oh, yeah. Bueno, la S se elimina, ¿cierto? Yeah, sure. Cuando es negativa, la, la, la respuesta. Ok, really nice questions. Veo que ustedes me van a enseñar a mí, chicos. Eh, se me escapan las cosas y eso es muy bueno. <ríe> eso es mentira. Muy bien, estamos bien. Uh -huh. eh, muy buena observación. Eh, I'm going to answer your questions. Voy a responder su pregunta. What happened here? We got a rule. Tenemos only one rule with the third person. Tenemos una regla con las terceras personas. Nos dice que vamos a agregar una S or E. E S. Ok, very good. Vamos a agregar una S o una ES, dependiendo de los casos. Eh, en este caso, he doesn't, doesn't omite ya la regla para el verbo, porque acá ya se está utilizando en we can use it no, sí, no podemos utilizarla dos veces 
¿Sí? ¿Se comprende esto? Sí. Ok, ok, very good. Okay. Okay. That, that is a really nice question. I like it. Ok. So, uh, then we get this. Be careful with this one. I no live in Japan. I no live in Japan. I no live in Japan. In Japan. 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 Okay, let's see. Japan. Japan. No. I no live. Yeah. I don't. I no live. We cannot say no. We have to say don't. This I don't live in Japan. I don't. I don't. I don't live don't in Japan. Live in Japan. Okay. I don't live in Japan. Okay. She has a cat. She has a cat. She does. What is us? Hacer. Tener. ¿Cómo tener? Tener. Tener. Really tener. Tener. Ella tiene un gato. Ella tiene un gato. Really good. And in this case, uh, we have this hat. We have this hat. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que ella no lo tiene. The difference is the hat. Yeah. She doesn't Is using the first and second person and has used the third person Okay, let me see. Now you hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, she doesn't have a cat. This is the right way. Why? Acá en este caso es la forma correcta. Ya no decimos has porque estamos utilizando la regla para las terceras personas que mencionamos anteriormente. We use, and we are applying the rule for the third person with doesn't, right? Okay. Okay, it's clear? Okay, okay questions? No questions. No questions. Yeah, please. Okay, students. Okay, uh, when you get the microphone, uh, be careful with that. Ten cuidado ahí. Uh, por el, el grito que se escucha atrás, ahí le ponen, desactivan el micrófono y cuando vamos a hablar, lo activan, please. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, here we go. Again. We got it, this one. This is uh, uh, some picture that we saw yesterday class. Uh, we got it, this, this is a car, right? But now we are, uh, we are gonna create uh, the simple present statements. Vamos a crear oraciones en presente simple. Okay, veamos. Por ejemplo, eh, which verb you can use to describe this card? ¿Qué verbo pueden utilizar para describir una oración utilizando el card? I don't have a card. <laughs> okay, I don't have a card. Really good. <laughs> I drive, I drive, I drive a car. She doesn't like to drive a car. Okay, very nice, good job. Okay, vamos con este, bus. Bus. 
I prefer uh, don't take a bus because no sé, con virus. Así como se dice virus. Virus. Y si hay día. Yeah, that's good. That's the idea. Really nice. Okay, this one. Its book is both uh, is beautiful. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Good job. And the last one we have this uh, woman, right? Okay. I like walk. I like walk. Okay, very good. I like walk. Okay, con like. Tenemos que tener un poquito de cuidado. When we use like, we have to add ing at the end of one verb. For example, I like walking. Walking. Okay. Walking. Walking. I like walking. Eh, como estamos utilizando dos verbos, y like tiene esa eh, exclusividad que le agregamos ing al siguiente verbo que sí. ¿Sí? Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's a tips for you, student. <laughs> For example, if you say I walk uh, every day. Solo, teacher. Yes, tell me. Solo, solo con like uh, se le agrega o hay otros? I, uh, we get a lot. For example, need? No. No, tenemos otros verbos, varios verbos. Si gustan, eh, se los puede incluir en una clase para que ustedes los vayan conociendo. ¿Sí? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, very good. Sí, porque eso es bastante genial ahí saber de tu I like walking. Yes. So on, right. Okay, students, continue with the class. We got some verbs. Okay, uh, we got this one. Tenemos muchos, muchos verbos. Me imagino que toditos estos ya los maneja. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay, let's do this. What is this? Play. 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 Jugar. 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 Nadar. Swing, uh, nadar. Swing, cantar. 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 Comer. 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 Bailar. 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 Leer. 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 Okay. Oh, no, no. ok, vamos. Ahí estamos bien. Veo que ya los manejo. Ahora yo se los voy a decir en español y ustedes me dicen cuál es. Ok, trabajar. Work. 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 Very good. Clean. Work. Clean. Clean. Okay, nice. Try. Pintar. Uh, <laughs> Paint. 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 Okay. Okay. Caminar. Walk. 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 Eh, tomar. Drink. 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 Tomar. Take. Brush. If you notice brush, you can use it for, for brush your teeth. Para cepillarse los dientes, brush your teeth. Cepillar los zapatos, and de cualquier otra cosa que van a cepillar. Brush. Brush. Really good. Okay, and morder. Bite. 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 Y el más hermoso de todos. Sleep. Dormir. Sleep. 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 Ok, chicos. If you... Um, teacher. Teacher. Yes, I have a question about the bird. Through. Through. Uh -huh, yes. Uh, what does it mean? The meaning... It's down cut. A uh, cut, this one. Uh, it's, it's down, down. Throw. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Estirar. Estirar. Ah. Lanzar. Ah, okay. Throw. Okay. Throw. Okay. Throw. Okay. Questions, Saúl Sánchez. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan que el día de ayer pedíamos eh, las interdental, TH? Sí. Eh, las que tenían TH se llamaban interdentales. ¿Por qué se llamaban interdentales? No. No se recuerda? Pronunciation. I not remember. <laughs> yeah, with the pronunciation, with TH, con la pronunciación de la TH, nosotros ponemos la lengua entre los dientes. Medio de los dientes. Por ejemplo, decimos en este caso, 
Throw. Throw. Díganos. Throw. 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 If you notice the sounds, it is naturally, right? Y ustedes notan el sonido sale naturalmente. Se suelta naturalmente. Throw. 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 Eh, entonces son pequeños tips que les voy a ir dando para que la pronunciación sea facilísima. ¿Les parece? Yes. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. Eh, como ustedes ya se saben, la mayoría de estos verbos, you have to choose three of these verbs. Three, only three. Tienen que elegir tres de estos verbos. Ok, you got it? Ok. Thanks. Sorry, teacher, uh, what did you say? Ok, you have to choose three of these verbs. Tienen que elegir tres de estos verbos. Elijan los que a ustedes les gusten o manejen mejor. Ok. You can choose whatever you want, if you want, like, right? Ok. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Room? Okay. Yes. 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 What we are going to do right now? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Veamos. You have to create sentences. Creando una opción. Positive. Negative. Negative. Los tres verbos tienen que crear una oración en positivo y en negativo. Yes. Entonces, ¿van a ser por todas? Seis. 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 Really? Six. Ok, for example, eh, yo solo elegí una. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Ok, elegí go. Go. Eh, vamos a hacer grupos de tres. Eh, yo los voy a elegir, chicos, y ustedes hagan sus oraciones mientras yo estoy explicando. Eh, for example, we got go. This is the verb. I go to my work every day. This is positive or negative? Positive. 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 And the negative will be I don't go to my work every day. Negative. Negative. Very good. Eso es lo que ustedes van a hacer y se van a compartir. You have to share these sentences, right? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, we're gonna make a group of three. Right in it. Ahí vamos, chicos. Eh, se comparten. Okay, van a quedar grupos de seis, cinco, cinco. Okay, entre los grupos se comparten las oraciones que ustedes han creado. Vamos. <risa> Ok, yeah. Ok, very good. Ok, Maggie. Yes. You can accept the option that you have there. Tienen que aceptar la opción que tienen ahí que les he mandado. ¿Qué? ¿Qué hago? No lo da en el que dice aceptar. You can push. The asset bar. Mándemelo otra vez, por favor. Ok. Maggie. A ver, me sigue. Teacher, tengo muy mal el internet. Really? <laughs> yes. Aquí, aquí donde dice join. Join. Sí, join, yes. Join. Join, join, yes. Ok. I. <laughs> you did it, please. Okay, it is. If you want, we can practice. No, tengo mala <laughs> Okay, it is. Just do the sentences. <laughs> okay. Con <Almost> usted. <laughs> okay, yes. Tell me uh, one sentence, only one. I know. <laughs> uh, I go shopping. 
Okay, very good. Megali? Mm, I don't. Yes, I don't shopping. Um, I don't I eat. go. Ah, I don't. Ah, yes, I don't go shopping. Okay. <laughs> I eat pupusas. Okay. I eat. I don't. I don't eat pupusas. Very nice, good job. I sleep later. Okay. <laughs> I don't sleep later. <laughs> Very nice, it is. Good job. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can practice with, with Montalvo. Montano. Mm -hmm. uh, Monta it's Montano. My last name is Montano. Ah, Montano, yes. Uh, you yes. can practice with Montalvo. Puede practicar con Montalvo, su compañero acá. Ok. Sí. Okay. El micrófono lo tiene apagado. Ok, Iris. Eh, eh, lo voy a asignar a otro grupo. Ok. This one. Accept the, this one. Ok. Ok, go ahead. <laughs> ok. No me cae nada. <laughs> Okay, it is. Okay, but, but no problem. We did already. Ya lo hicimos nosotros, así que no hay problema. Eh, ah, falta usted. <laughs> Se le dijo uno. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you another one. Eh, uh, let me see. I eat pupusas uh, on weekend. I don't eat pupusas on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks, Iris. Eh, voy a unirme a otro grupo para revisar cómo está. I'll be back okay, in a Regreso un minuto. Yes, uh, he doesn't write a book. Y el tercero fue eat. I eat a mango. I don't eat a mango. Esos fueron mis tres verbos. Okay, very good. Continue, students. <risa> Vaya, los demás, ¿qué Vaya. hicieron? Yo utilicé read, drive, uh -huh. and dance. Uh -huh. eh, la primera es, I like read a book. Y a negative, I don't read a book every day. La otra es, I lo, drive lo. to... Una cosa, lo único sobre lo que dijo el, el teacher de, del segundo verbo, porque I like read, ahí hay dos verbos, ¿va? gustar y leer. Ah, es I read, ¿verdad? I like reading. 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 El, ING, el ING, aumenta al segundo right. verbo. Ok, very good. Gracias. Thank you. Uh -huh. okay. Y a negative, I don't read a book every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Good job, students. Continue practice. Continue. He doesn't eat a lot. Ay, no sé. Teacher, Ajá, ¿cómo se dice? Lot. Él come mucho. He eats a lot. <laughs> okay, now can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, continue practice. Uh, you have only two minutes. Okay. Don't eat salad. Está bien. Okay. Sí, sí. Y Don Saúl terminó la otra. De Don Saúl Ardón. Yeah, I I work independent. I don't not independent. 
Hello, teacher. <laughs> Okay, students, how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo ahí la práctica? Did you like it? <laughs> yes, I like it. Okay, very good. I hope so. Eso es espero, chicos. <laughs> okay, uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough time. Desafortunadamente no tenemos mucho tiempo. Si ustedes notan la hora, se pasa sumamente rápido. Más con ustedes que son sumamente inteligentes. Wow, me sorprendo. I'm really surprised. Eh, así que eh, un punto sumamente importante es you can access to the platform and you can study further, right? Pueden acceder a la plataforma y seguir estudiando como lo ha hecho acá el compañero Saúl Ardón. Eh, que ya casi termina la sección 1. <laughs> ok, that's good. Eso está muy bueno. Eh, remember, you can do it as many times as you can. Pueden hacerlo tantas veces como ustedes consideren necesario. Igual los test. La, lo importante acá es que ustedes aprendan. ¿sí? Ok. Pueden hacer los test las veces que sea necesario. If you have questions, you can ask me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be your teacher and your personal trainer, right? Ok. Okay, I don't know if you have questions. Hi, John. Tell me. Eh, no sé cómo entrar a la plataforma. Ah, okay. Eh, if you want, si ustedes quieren, eh, I can share with you on WhatsApp the link. Right? Puedo compartir con ustedes el link en WhatsApp para que ustedes hagan. Eh, eh, me imagino que les voy a tener enviado un, al correo electrónico. Eh, al correo electrónico, básicamente eh, los links, pero se los voy a volver a compartir porque ustedes tienen que tener una, un usuario. ¿Sí? Sí, sí. Ok, entonces ahí ustedes pueden entrar, as many times as you can, tantas veces como sea necesario, las veces que quieran, a la hora que quieran. That platform is for you students right okay okay students that's it for today class it's a Thank pleasure you. to see you again bye everybody